welcome everyone to uh, this session and new commands in Appium 2.0 with Kazuaki Matsuo. It's lovely to have you with us today all the way from San Francisco. Kazuaki, take it away. Hi, uh, today is my, my talk is add new commands in Appium 2.0 thing. Let's go ahead. First, let me explain myself briefly. Hi, my name is Kazuaki Matsuo. My GitHub account is Kazukokwa. Probably some guys know my account in Appium repository. Current my work role is head spin as a senior software engineer. And previously I worked as a test and QA and automation role in QuickBart and Access. So I'm well known test QA world as well. And for probably three or four years, I. I've been maintaining Appium project itself, Appium server as well, and the, some clients as well. So today my talk is focusing on Appium 2.0. And today's main topic is these four items. First, I will explain about Appium basic, how to Appium command works. I will explain briefly. And after that, as a next step, I will explain a bit fake driver with to explain the adding new command. So before a few days ago, I find a bug in a uh, fake plugins. So I switched to talk about driver itself to, but the main topic adding command and calling command is the same. And after that, I will show how to call call this command as a step three and uh, using Appium binding as a step four. Okay, go ahead. So the first step is about Appium commands. I will show you uh, the Appium basic. Okay. In Appium world, there is uh, three main items to explain Appium. So, there is an Appium client, and there is an Appium server, and there is a, a device on the test or the application on the test. In Appium world, Appium client and Appium server communicate with WebDriver protocol. This protocol is based on HTTP protocol. So between Appium client and Appium server, they send a HTTP request from client to server, and the client get the response from the server. And uh, this communication, HTTP communication is a basic Appium command. Many times we say just Appium command, then almost cases, it means this withdrawal protocol HTTP request set. And behind the Appium server, Appium server manage the device on the test or the application on the test via HTTP request, or sometimes ADB command to manage Android, which is provided by Google to manage command, manage devices over USB cables. So for example, when Appium client called a, a method, this example is just a Ruby command. So driver Ruby, a Ruby binding have a command driver find element and accessibility ID and some word like a happy testing. And once Appium client called this method and then behind the method, Appium client send a HTTP request to Appium server. In this find element case, post request and the root is slash session, session ID element, and the request body is like this, using accessibility ID, value, happy testing. Once Appium server get this request, a request, and then Appium server do something behind the server and return the response to their Appium client. Yeah. Today's main topic is this just a HTTP call. So, this is our everything. Today's main uh, technical thing. Let's go ahead. Okay, so 
Let's take a look at our fake driver. I will explain our fake driver, which is used uh, some testing, testing purpose in Appium project or show, other, show this driver as an example to some persons. This fake driver can launch, uh, can establish a session using fake automation name and the platform automation name. This fake driver allows to set up capability. This is just a dummy is fine. You can find this fake driver in this RPM 2.0 branch and the package directory. I picked a part of, uh, picked up uh, some definition place from fake driver here. This is the, what fake driver defined up in commands as a dr fake driver. For example, in the top place, this fake driver defined this root. So slash session, session ID, fake driver. And this method defined get and post it method. In get method case, once this URL calls, and then fake driver call get fake thing method internally and then return the result to the client. Post require some body, which requires a thing parameter. This fake driver also call this just a slash fake driver path root. Unlike this session ID, this are just simply slash fake. Uh, fake driver and any method like get, post, put, or delete or something. This method, this word, accept everything. So like this, you can define your own root in the driver, and then the driver will listen each root as a appium command. Okay, so let's. Try to call the defined method, defined appium command using call and the next is Ruby client. Once again, uh, this fake driver have this root and this root and uh, this root, totally three root. But today I will pick up three root. So get request and the session session ID fake driver and the post request case and the, the simply just fake driver case. So we'll just call the bottom one via call. I will change the view to the command line tools. So let's launch up you with fake driver first. And then once I launched the fake driver and then the server listen this port local host, uh, the port number is 4723. So I prepared the command, call command on my local. So let's try to call this command. Fake driver defined this root and this root accept everything. So once you call this driver, uh, this root and then the driver get the root and uh, it returns a response as a this message to the call call let me launch appium server using only xc ui test driver xc test driver doesn't have like this root so when you call this path, and then XCR test driver doesn't accept this, uh, cannot handle this root properly. So it returns no command res result. So actually fake driver has this root. So adding a new command and call the command is basically this everything. So as our next step, 
I will show you some client side implementation. Today is, I will use Ruby client to explain some new, adding new command in client side and call each command as a client method. First, uh, okay. so we launched our fake driver and uh, established a session. And uh, I will explain how to add sessions in client side and try to do some demos. So let's start the appear fake driver already started. And let's start our fake driver session. In Ruby client case, it require a few lib core library and it need some capabilities and uh, can establish a session using these capabilities. Let's try to call this. It very quickly. So once we client called core start driver, and then one more time, the server side fake driver get a request from just a search session and prepare fake driver and return the response. So you have already finished the service the session. And next. Let's try to call basic method driver page source. So fake driver already have this method call. It returns a file body. It is uh, defined, uh, specified by this app. So fake driver already file, uh, have this page source command. So let's define extend Ruby current side code to call additional code for fake drivers. In Ruby client case, Ruby already have a add command method and it can define method and URL and how to call the method name. Let's try to do that. And let's call this method first. Yeah. In here, after creating a driver, I define a method like this, get and just a root fake driver. And the name is just a get fake driver. So driver can call this method like this get fake driver. And then the fake driver get the request and the rest return the response. Like this, you can, you can also define session, session ID, fake driver root. Okay, this also easy to see than just a read. So in Ruby case, establish the session and other command as a get and this URL and this command name is get fake driver two. Let's call this. And then fake driver get the request. The important thing is in Ruby case, the session ID, colon session ID will replace with proper session ID string. So as a fake driver, the request session ID was replaced with this our some random string. So yep, that's it. So this is a, just a HTTP call from client to the fake driver and the response return to the response from uh, fake driver to the client. And the Ruby client already have uh, this method to extend the Ruby command as a method and behind that, what URL 
Ruby clients should call. I have more example, but yeah, you've time got is five, 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 five minutes to go. Yeah. So today's demo is just just it. So I will publish this documentation, uh, this slide to the public place, so you can read them later. So and the Ruby client can define a post as well. And uh, if you define you if you code some wrong parameters, which is required by driver, and then you can also get some error messages. So in fake driver or plugins, you can define the method and uh, you can also set uh, some uh, limitations to re which, re which parameter is required. Or... And go ahead. Okay, so I explained the appium command, what is happening behind the client side call. And I also explained briefly in the fake driver how to add uh, HTTP root and uh, some other parameters. And the client Ruby, I picked a Ruby client case, but some client already have to extend HTTP command. But if your client does have the add command, even even this case, you can define your own uh, root using vanilla HTTP client. So the important thing is you need to replace some session ID or elemental ID properly. But basically, you can define your own HTTP your own Appium client using your HTTP client. Okay, that's it. Thank you. We've got one question for you here. The, what is practical usage of fake driver? Someone's wanting to know uh, how would they use this? Yeah, this fake driver is just a, in Appium project, we use this fake driver as our end-to-end -end test case. So this is a, just a dummy thing. So some method already wrapped. So like a source page also already wrapped. So, but other drivers like Xero test or UI Automator to require some Android or iOS dependencies so that they are not good for thin test drivers as an Appium project. So fake driver is the main purpose is use end-to-end -end test in the other Appium module. So basically, probably you, you won't use fake driver for your project, just there are some just a practice or reading some simple implementation. That's it. Excellent. I don't think there are any other questions. Um, someone said this worked similarly in Appium 1, correct? Could you also write custom commands there? Yeah, exactly. In basically, up the difference Appium 2.0 and Appium 1.x is which is which driver you want to install. So Appium 1 is basically already have some drivers as a one package. In Appium 2.0, you can download, you can get your necessary package only that. So as a front end between client and the server is the same. All right. I hope that um, answered the, uh, the question. Uh, we've got uh, one more question here. Same question from my end. Uh, will wait commands work with fake driver? Uh, yes. Can you, can. Actually, can you, sorry, can you just make yourself, oh, you're going to show us the thing. Okay, yeah. Otherwise, I was going to say end the screen share, but you're going to show. So keep the screen share. Uh, All yours. Go for it. Yeah. Will wait commands work with fake driver? Yeah. It probably just a wrapped command. So it has a actually method, but it returns nothing. It, it does nothing, do nothing. So it's a, just a wrap command, just a return to zero, zero. Cool. I think there's everything. Look, if anyone, we're actually out of time. If anyone has any more questions, um, that'd be great. Actually, Sai has just posted in the chat that Fake Driver is a dummy project to test internal Appian projects, which is what you said before too. 
Kazuaki. Enjoy the rest of your day. That's it from, from this session. Take care.